I find it irksome that companies want to collect information about how and when and why I compute. From Apple wanting to get their hands on the geometry of your face, to Mozilla forcing browser extensions on you. I've heard it said that data is the new oil. Hi, I'm Gardner, the Linux gamer, and it seems Canonical wants in on that game. Let me preface this by saying that I think it sucks to be so paranoid about online privacy, but I can't help it. Privacy, especially in our digital age, is extremely important. Even if data is being anonymized or it seems innocuous, the fact that surveillance happens is damaging to everyone. With that being said, my reaction to the headline is an emphatic no, bad canonical. I mean, Ubuntu wants to collect user telemetry. It raised an eyebrow. So here's the question. Should we be concerned by the fact that Canonical, the parent company of arguably the most widely used Linux distro, wants user data? Let's dive into this. According to the proposal on the mailing list, this is something that would be configured with the installation of the OS. There would be a checkbox saying something along the lines of, send diagnostic information to help improve Ubuntu. And the data that would be collected mostly pertains to the installation process. The specific information they intend to collect is as follows, Ubuntu flavor and version, network connectivity, CPU family, RAM, disk size, screen resolution, GPU vendor and model, OEM manufacturer, install duration, various settings chosen during installation, and the reported location. Will Cook, director of the Ubuntu desktop at Canonical says, we want to be able to focus our engineering efforts on the things that matter most to our users. And in order to do that, we need to get some more data about the sort of setups our users have and which software they're running on it. So yeah, I mean, that mostly seems pretty reasonable to me, except that some of this data could actually be used to identify someone, or at least someone's computer. And let's not forget that they would continue to collect data after installation. Stuff like which packages you install, app port crash data without user approval, and, and yeah. Given all that, they have also laid out a few assurances. First, that they wouldn't be collecting IP addresses, which is something that was stressed twice in the post on the mailing list. They also said that user data would be sent securely over HTTPS and that the data would be publicly available in aggregate. I, I wish that I could give this proposal the benefit of the doubt. I mean, their intentions seem to be to build a better Ubuntu and who can argue with that? But I'm the kind of person who finds it offensive when I'm asked for an email address as I'm checking out at Old Navy. So obviously I'm gonna hate the idea of my operating system collecting and submitting data about my usage habits. I can understand the team at Canonical's rationale. I, I really can. After the failure of the Ubuntu phone project and the end of the Unity desktop, I would want to invest my time and energy in worthwhile projects that are actually meant to make Ubuntu better and having data to back up the project. And I mean, I like the idea of Ubuntu becoming a better OS. After all, Ubuntu has been my Linux home for just about as long as I've been a Linux user. But the more I understand about data, privacy, and how computers work, the technology for reporting this information to Canonical would be part of the OS whether you uncheck that box or not. The fact that this proposal would be an opt-out situation with a vague improve Ubuntu message next to it the fact that it collects enough info to create what would equate to a fingerprint for your PC, and that it would continue to collect info after the installation completes without proactive measures on the part of the user, makes this plan, at least for me, a non-starter. I mean, if this proposal comes to fruition, it will be the day I find a new Linux home. But it's important that I explain how I feel the Ubuntu team can collect this data ethically. First, I'm a strong believer in opting in versus opting out. Second, a list of the exact data that's being collected and transmitted should be provided on the same screen as the checkbox. That would probably mean that this would become its own step in the installer, giving the user as much info as possible to make an informed decision. And finally, I'd have there be two checkboxes. One to collect information about the installation process, and one for continued usage data after installation. But what do you think? Do you trust Canonical, or any company for that matter, with this data? Leave a comment down below or hit me up on Twitter, at the Linux Gamer. Now, this channel would not be possible without the continued support of my monthly contributors over on Patreon and LibrePay. Thanks guys, you're awesome. If you'd like to help this channel grow, consider making a monthly pledge today. You can also hit that like button and share this video with your friends. Or you can subscribe to see more from me, the Linux Gamer. And as always, thanks for watching.